All right, cats and kittens, we are going to start our morning, or whenever you're watching this, off with some vocabulary. It is your lucky day. We're going to talk about vocabulary related to division. I know you are just jumping out of your seats with joy right now. You're welcome. All right, so you can see three words on my screen. This first word is dividend, dividend. The dividend in a division problem is the thing that is going to be divided. We could relate this word to add in. That's a pretty, oh, that's new. Add-ins in an addition problem are the numbers that get added together. In a division problem, the dividend is the one that gets divided. We know in a division problem, not all of the numbers are gonna be divided into small groups. Only one of those numbers is gonna be split up into equal groups. The dividend is always gonna be that number that gets split into equal groups. The next one we have here is the divisor. The divisor is the one that's going to be doing the dividing. This suffix here, sir, indicates or means that this is the thing that's going to do the action, all right? So some other words that have this ending are advisor, the one who will give advice, aggressor, the one who is giving the aggression, a supervisor is a person who supervises. So those are some examples that helps us remind, remember that the divisor is the one who divides. Let's get some of these written down. An advisor, a supervisor. And it is going to be... The one who divides. Very exciting stuff, I know. Finally, we have the quotient. The quotient is our answer. You'll hear me use the word quotient a lot. Maybe you'll be reading me using the word quotient a lot, given that we are distance learning. Um, but I'll often add descriptors to the quotient. I may say we're going to use a decimal quotient. Uh, maybe I we are going to be using a whole number quotient. Or uh, I might say that the quotient will be a mixed number. We have a lot of options with our quotients. So some things to keep in mind that your quotient might have remainders. It might have decimals. In the future, it will even have fractions. All in addition to our whole numbers. Alrighty team, I'm gonna wipe this off and let's do some practice. I'm gonna put a super, super easy problem on here and your job is going to be to decide which number is the dividend. I hope you're thinking in your head, which number is the dividend? Remember, the dividend is the number that is going to be divided into equal groups. Which number here is being split into groups? If you said 10, that is correct. This is the dividend. All right, that's made your job a little bit easier for you to decide which number here is the divisor. The divisor is the number that's going to tell us how many groups to create. How many groups are we splitting things into right now? If you chose two, you are right there with me. I probably should have done these in a mixed up order to make them more challenging, but oh well. This is our divisor. So that means that when we do this, we know two groups, you might do something like this. 
The dividend is the one getting split into groups, so we know we'd have to do something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Beautiful. And you guys have all done this. This is way too easy for you guys. We know our quotient is going to tell us how many are going to end up in each of the equal groups. It's our answer. We love it. All right, team members, you're going to answer a few questions about vocabulary. Uh, good luck, and I'll see you soon.